Hello and welcome to pretty cool tutorial that I'm gonna be doing today. Since I've been missing for some time now, I'm gonna spoil you guys a little bit and today we're gonna do a look from the first Iron Man. You know, I was gonna clean up my hard drive and I was browsing through footage and I found this footage that was shot by John Browley for original Blackmagic Ursa camera. I don't know if this particular footage is still on the website, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere online. And we're working, obviously, with original raw clips. And in this tutorial, I'm going to try not to use any plugins or anything like that. So all of you guys can pretty much follow and dial the same look. That way you don't have to purchase any additional plugins or software or anything like that. So let's take a look. Let me analyze this really quick. And I know for, for this I'm going to use plugin, but you don't have to. This is just to visually represent the way you guys can see what the hell is going on. Okay, so I have a false color plugin by Time and Pixels over here. And the reason why I decided to bring this plugin is to visually kind of show you what the hell is happening. And if you really look at the, let me zoom in a little bit, at this um, chart over here, we can see that pretty much everything is below 45 um, on our luminosity value. So this is a very dark picture to begin with. And the only thing is bright is obviously the headlights, the light in the back, and a little bit of chrome reflection from the lights. And if I'm going to remove this, we can actually clearly see what's going on with the luminosity values. So I think it's very straightforward. And let's start dialing our look. So as you can see, this is a very straightforward, simple shot of the car driving. And the first thing I'm going to do is let me do exposure node. Okay. And then I'm going to do saturation node. And then I'm going to do lot node and for this i'm going to be using the lot that comes with the venture resolve i'm going to go to 3d lot film looks and i'm going to use my favorite 2383 lot okay so like that looks really cool and it's pretty decent beginning a little bit dark but we're going to fix that so let's go to exposure and let me go to the waveform really quick and i'm just going to bring up a little bit more information that way it's not too dark okay so something like this okay let me go back and as we can see in this picture i'm not sure exactly how accurate this is comparing to actual film obviously but we can tell that it's pretty much almost all the way on a zero i think the value is like 10 or something like that so i'm gonna try to replicate a similar black level and how to achieve that i'm going to be if i'm going to be pulling the the curve before the lot we can see it's not going anymore below a certain point however if i'm going to do the same adjustment after the lot we can easily pull down the whole thing to achieve the same level of blackness so i'm going to call this one blacks okay Let's go back into exposure. I'm going to give it a little bit kick. Okay. Now let me go really quick to the vector scope. And let's see how saturated this whole thing is. And we can tell it's pretty saturated. And most of the colors that dominate. Uh, road is green. Shadows kind of bluish. And the very bottom level of the shadows is obviously black. So it's pretty much classic teal and orange. Hollywood sp spread how they do it. And let me start adjusting the shadow a little bit. I mean, saturation. I'm sorry, I'm going crazy. Okay, so saturation, a decent start. Let me create a parallel layer, okay? Just like that. And we're going to start dialing everything over here. So I'm going to call this one pre-look. Okay, so this is going to be our pre-look. And if I'm going to go side by side, just like this, we can see better what's going on. So obviously, my picture is still not satur as saturated as the Iron Man. And 
I need to give a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to follow that route. And again, I'm matching the picture. I'm not sure exactly how accurate this whole thing is comparing to the actual release. Okay, so like that is kind of cool. Let's go to the blacks. Okay, like that. I know I'm not, you know, doing it in a super proper way, but it's going to do. Okay, so for now, it's all right. So let's go really quick before and after. Before and after. So that looks pretty good. We have a little bit of chroma uh, noise going on here, but if you have a paid version, and I'm going to demonstrate, it's very easy to fix. I'm just going to do NR noise remove. And if you guys have the free version and you don't have this available, don't worry. This is just for demonstration. And pretty much this function right here, that's what you pay big bucks for. So I'm just going to go to uh, this section over here. I'm going to ungang them and I'm going to put about 10, maybe a little bit more. And we can see that the chroma, which is colored noise, disappear. So instead of having that ugly DSLR looking noise, we actually have a kind of nice film grain going on. All right, back on topic. So I'm going to start playing around with the color. That way I can achieve closer look. Um, I'm going to turn off Luma Mix. That way nothing is mixing. So as we can see in Iron Man, actually, let me do this. Okay, we have saturated green. We have a little bit kind of... Okay, I'm going to do it like that. And probably, probably can add a little bit more saturation. Okay, like that. Da 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 da. Okay. So I'm going to call this one green. Okay, and I know what you're saying. You're thinking like this looks ugly right now. And yes, it's not the final. It's not the, the perfect look. But we'll get there. Then I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to call this one blue. Okay, and what I'm going to do for blue. And there's a few different ways to do it. I'm going to show you a simple way. So for the blue, I'm not going to touch blacks. I'm kind of going to bypass that. Okay, let's see. So we're kind of going to work, I guess, somewhere around here. Okay, like that. And then high, I'm going to lower it. You can do the same thing in the log. I'm going to show you the one through here. It doesn't matter. Everything has different application. Okay. So for this one, like this, let's do okay. So like that is fine. And in this blue, I'm actually going to start adding a little bit of blue, just like over here, kind of, I guess, teal. And we can see already that we're getting that split. And keep in mind, a very important thing that whenever you shoot, whenever you have a project, 90% of the look happens in camera. So even though this is amazing color grading job, but if you follow closely on how things lit, including that, again, I don't know how much this photo accurate comparing to the movie, but we can even see the headlights are blue matching the background. So always keep that in mind. Everything is set exactly how the final product supposed to look. Nothing is accident. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to blur it a little bit. Let's see, and maybe just to make it a little bit easier, I probably can go and do it like that. All right, so we have our blue a little bit, even though the transition I probably can do a little bit smoother. Okay, let's see, something like that. Obviously, everything a little bit tiny here, not too much room to play. I can use masks to isolate it, but it's going to add a little bit more compl complexity to color grading process. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so now com let's compare two images. Um, obviously, the Iron Man shot have much more kick 
it's more contrasty it pops a little bit more we can create that in the node after the lot okay so i'm going to create a new node i'm going to call this contrast and again there's a several ways doing it nothing is set on stone keep that in mind okay i'm going to increase contrast and i'm going to give it a little bit of kick okay kind of like this okay i'm also have a false color monitor over here i'm looking on the side to make sure we're sort of in the same league and let's check it out before and after before and after very nice we have good contrast going on okay so we're almost there let's see really quick what we've done so before and after before and after so that looks pretty cool now let's talk about let's come back in a note where it says blacks i can do work in this note or how i like it and sometimes it's counterproductive but i kind of like to keep everything you know in a separate nose that way i have more flexibility i'm gonna call this one true black okay and what i mean by that i basically you know we obviously have tint in our color right now so you know the sky is not completely black for example if you go to the iron man we can see that sky is black so we're gonna fix that i'm gonna again select this and i'm gonna start going down 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 okay something like that i'm gonna do nice Oops, we can see a little sensor pattern over here. No big deal. Let's do clean white. Let's see. Okay. So for the sake of tutorial, like that is fine. And now, um, depending on the situation, you can either increase the contrast and it kind of, you know, because of contrast, it's going to go black. Um, let's reset that. Or you can go into lumen versus saturation and you can kind of bring it down a little bit you know making it black like that or you can do a little combination of both to give it a little bit more kick again whatever's correct way it's up to you it's up to the situation for example look how much this note makes a difference so this is kind of cheap grading shot we turn this on boom very nice so this is like a major let's say a major look okay let me go back let's compare our shots so i think they're pretty close uh i probably can do probably can give a little bit more saturation into green okay probably can push it a little bit more okay something like that obviously without it not the same okay so that looks interesting let's go again before and after before and after blue the same thing see it adds a little bit kind of teal uh, different ways of doing it now let's concentrate on the car so let me let's see probably I'm just gonna ta -ta 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 -ta, create compound node. Okay, let's label it. I'm gonna call it lot plus, the things that go after the lot. All right, so let's play around within the parallel mixer. So we have speeding car, everything looks pretty cool. Okay, again, let's go really quick. Let's check it out before and after and actually let's see that way there's more room for you guys to see what i'm doing hopefully that helps okay so before and after i can see still that there's a little bit of noise going on and let me create another note i'm gonna push and hold control and i'm gonna swap the notes i'm gonna have this one noise reduction in the very first again this for the sake of tutorial i want to keep it nice and clean okay like that look at the difference before and after i'm gonna zoom in before and after guys on the light version don't worry you know this is kind of i guess high-end workout you know you don't need to have this plugin if you don't have the full version highly recommended though because you know whenever you shoot at night you kind of want to do a little bit noise reduction 
so the car is speeding. All right, looks good. Now let's let me right click. Let's see. Um, clean up note graph. Now I'm gonna do this one car. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of pop to the car. So for the car, what can I do? Well. I probably can lower the headlights a little bit, however it works in this situation, so I'm not going to mess with it. I can bring a little bit more attention to the car. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to draw a little mask. I'm going to call this garbage mask. I don't want to spend entire tutorial time, you know, doing this kind of stuff. This is just so you guys know the basic okay, process. Okay, let's track this thing. Let's do backwards. Okay. This is just to get your guys idea. You don't have to you don't have to do this. That way you kind of know that this is what you can do. Okay, it's going forward. Obviously it takes a little bit of time. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, that's fine. Uh four hour tutorial is gonna work. So now what you can do if you're gonna go into costume you can basically adjust if you want to have more exposure on the car or not if you want to do a little bit more contrast like i really like how this one looks kind of gives a, a little shiny pop and if i'm gonna go back into the the curve okay just like this i can give it a little bit softness soft selection okay okay let's just do okay and let's check it out before and after before and after i mean again i'm just trying to show the possibilities not really looking over here to do any kind of extra work or anything outside the box very straightforward all right so let's compare what we have versus the picture okay um in terms of exposure we're spot on color wise uh, i say it looks pretty similar i think the blue can be a little bit more blue which actually easy to fix but besides that we're in the same ballpark i think it looks pretty cool um on over here in the parade so this is me right here actually let, let me go decompose really quick. Blacks. Let's see, I can go even a little bit lower. Okay. Like that. Or on a parade if you want to see. A little bit. Okay. So, perfect. So, our blacks matching just like that. General midtones right on it. And we're going to verify all this right now in a second. Okay. So this is it. Now what I'm going to do on the very end, I'm going to add the same false colors. That way we can see in terms of exposure where we're at. And if you can see, if you remember how we've been looking at the Iron Man picture, we pretty much started at 45 all the way down. And let me turn on the clips. Let's see. Let's add false color to this guy. And we're pretty much in the very same ballpark in terms of uh, exposure luminosity. Now, whether the way you achieve this look is the correct way or not, you know, it's up to you. I personally think there is no right or wrong uh, as long as you know what you're doing. Obviously, some stuff specifically shot for a specific look. Uh, like I said, look at the headlights. They're, you know, purposely blue and all that. But I think we got pretty close considering that this is just a random car driving anyways guys thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe i'm going to be releasing more color grading tutorials and i'll see you soon